game over. Hello and welcome to Small Gold's Game Over Theory. I'm going to ask you a series of self-reflective questions. Are you hedged against your own confirmation bias? What if what you believe is wrong? Are you hedged against your own confirmation bias? We're going to discuss game theory and game over theory. Now, game theory is the study of mathematical models of conflict and cooperation between intelligent and rational decision makers. Game over theory, in contrast, is a theory that alternative financial media information and narratives predicting economic collapses and soaring precious metal prices are always correct, causing intelligent, rational decision makers to insist such information and narratives and their conclusions are true blindly believe them and adjust their financial affairs accordingly as they await the end game. Now let's look at the state of play. Game over theorists have hedged themselves with gold and silver against a dollar collapse, a COMEX default, a silver shortage, a gold shortage, hyperinflation, and a host of other potential economic disasters. But aren't you hedged against the possibility that game over narratives may be partially or totally incorrect? Questions for game over theorists. Ask what, who, where, when, why, and how. Let's do the what's. What if credit creation is near infinite? What if there is no gold or silver shortage? What if much of silver's industrial use gets replaced by graphene? What if there are new cost-effective ways to mine precious metals? What if private gold or silver ownership is outlawed? What if the real investment demand for gold and silver is in digital and paper form, not physical form? What if the road to Ruta is just a comic book and not a plan? What if it's not game over soon? What if it's just the early innings of a long extra inning game? What if there isn't going to be a global reset? What if there is a global reset and it doesn't involve gold or silver? What if China, despite its gold accumulation, is also an economic credit-driven Ponzi scheme? What if the United States does have 8,000 tons of gold in its vaults, including gold at Fort Knox? What if the gold-silver ratio continues to rise? What if what you think is inevitable might not be imminent or even occur during your lifetime? What if Bitcoin is a government plot to usher in a cashless society by using those most likely to oppose it to promote it? What if COMEX never defaults? What if JP Morgan doesn't own hundreds of millions of American silver eagles? What if game over theory is nothing more than wishful, fanciful thinking for precious metal holders or just plain hype to attract new buyers or subscribers of game over narrative peddlers? Who? Who benefits from peddling game over narratives? Do they have a good track record with their predictions? Where? Where do you get your information? Do you review other sources that don't tout game over narratives? Do you automatically dismiss information from these sources if it contradicts your game over sources? When? When did you start believing in game over narratives? Why? Why do you believe it? Have you ever doubted it? How? How long have you believed in game over narratives? How long are you prepared to wait to have game over concepts proven correct? What do you do in the meantime? Keep stacking? What is your backup plan? Do you have one? Do these questions anger you? <laughs>